Hi, my name is Caroline Francis and I'm Director of UK Alumni Career Services. I'm joined today by UK alumna Randy Gallegos. Thanks for joining us, Randy. Thanks for having me. I'm excited about this. Well, why don't you dive right in and tell us a little about your career path since you've graduated from UK? All right, um, sure. I graduated from the College of Engineering at, at the University of Kentucky, and um, I was born and raised in Kentucky. So obviously going to UK was, was always kind of the plan. And um, as I, you know, was reaching that point in graduation, I decided it would be a good idea for me to try um, living somewhere else, just kind of have that experience. And so um, I was fortunate to get a job with the uh, Hensel Phelps Construction. They had come to do a job fair at, at UK with the engineering um, grads coming out. And um, it was for a job in Virginia and I, you know, so I kind of wanted to move to Colorado and they said, well, we happen to be based out there. So uh, we can offer you the similar position out, out in Colorado. So I moved and um, started off in commercial construction and, you know, really enjoyed it. Got to see a whole lot of things that, you know, kind of put my education to use um, and did that for several years, met my husband um, working there. And then, um, you know, as, as we kind of started to settle down, if you will, a few years later, I uh, decided to try design, put my engineering skills to good use and got a job in consulting and did, uh, did some civil site consulting um, for a company out in Denver for a few years. And honestly got a little homesick and um, wanted to be less than a plane ride away from my family. Um, you know, we have a family engineering company, American Engineers. So the goal was uh, always at some point to, you know, come back into the family business. And um, so, you know, we kind of made the big decision to move back across country and uh, landed in Atlanta. We had a Georgia office. Um, and so, you know, we, we kind of came here with a less than one year old baby and uh, started a life in Georgia and we've been here ever since and it's kind of our adopted home state now. Um, so I've been working with American engineers now for going on 19 years and, um, <clears throat> you know, really enjoy it. We do lots of different engineering and um, I've grown from just doing, you know, civil design work to um, actually doing more HR, uh, risk management, uh, some marketing. Um, so it, it's been an interesting career. It's kind of taken me full circle from construction. Now, you know, back into the design aspect. You're a great example of someone who utilized our, our fabulous campus career fairs. We always encourage students to attend and employers to come back and recruit at those fairs. So I'm glad to absolutely got your launch there. What <laughs> major lessons have you learned so far in your career? Um, I, I, you know, given this one a, a little bit of thought as far as major lessons, um, change is good. Uh, you know, I, I think, I guess when I was coming out of school, I, I really kind of thought, you know, you were going to go to work and that that was your job. Um, and, and so every time, you know, a new opportunity presented itself, it, it was scary. Um, but then, you know, through that, I think you, I, the most growth came from it. Um, you know, moving across country, got to see a different aspect of life, coming and, and kind of starting, um, you know, a family and a, a career in a new state, uh, literally didn't know anyone here. Um, you know, it was scary, but through that, I think you kind of forge your own path. And um, so I think the biggest lessons is just that, you know, change is where most of your growth occurs. And although it is scary, it's, uh, it, it is kind of where you really find out more about who you are and what you want, which I think is important. You know, why settle um, when there's just so much opportunity out there and, and that's where you kind of figure out what you want. So true. What do you know now that you wish you would have known then? Um, you know, kind of similar as far as, um, you, you just try something different. I mean, it, it may not sound interesting. 
Uh, it may sound scary. You may not think you're qualified, um, but you know, try it. I mean, there's, you know, we have this amazing opportunity um, to try everything, try something different, figure out what you like, figure out what you don't. Um, but you know, don't be afraid of it. And and I guess the other thing that you know you don't know until you you don't know is. Um, you really don't know much when you come out of school. I mean, you have this amazing education and it's it's absolutely the, you know, the foundation. Um, and, and don't be afraid to say that you don't know, because, uh, you know, that that's where you you learn and in, um, in so, you know, some of the, the the big milestones, I guess, in my career kind of started from saying, you know, I don't know. Can you show me? Can you help me? Can you tell me about it? Um, and, and so I think, you know, that that's a valuable lesson that that um, I've kind of through the years picked up. Good advice. How does your degree relate to what you're doing now? Um, well, I so I've been in some facet of engineering since I graduated. Um, and, you know, I mean, my dad's a civil engineer. My brother's an engineer. I kind of grew up around it. Um, I couldn't imagine doing anything different. And um, with engineering, it's it's a tight knit community. It's a very supportive community, and you know I still do design. I I manage um, you know some of our designers here, um, and then like I said, I I do more HR and uh, risk management now. But it's the background in engineering I think that makes me um, able to do that. So it's been a great career so far. Have you had any career defining moments? Um, well, one of my, I guess one of my first ones was, uh, you know, when I did take the job with Hensel Phelps in Denver, um, I remember the guy saying, uh, my interviewer, when I got there, um, he said, you know, we're going to put you on a, a chance of a lifetime project. And, and so I got to work on the Denver Aquarium which, you know, you don't build aquariums a lot. And of course at the time I, I didn't realize what an opportunity it was and you know hindsight's 2020 um but it that that was one right out of the the gate you know to get put on such a cool different project um but you know every time you kind of kind of shifted directions if you will um you don't know it at the time but looking back you're like oh you know that was kind of the next step into you know where i am now and um so kind of each little change that that you make um would would be a career defining moment because it kind of opens up that next door resume builders for sure mm -hmm. have you had strong mentors along the way yeah i um i've had several um you know my parents obviously i, I mean i i have to say they you know from the time i was little um, I, they would, my dad would get us up at six in the morning and, you know, have to go kind of do yard work or work at the farm or, or something, you know, and, and in high school or even middle school, um, you know, it's, I mean, I, this is borderline, you know, abuse. This is crazy. None of my friends are doing this. Um, but what it gave me was a good work ethic, a sense of, um, you know, kind of having a purpose and seeing something through. And then, you know, if my dad's background in engineering, um, you know, he, he he was very adamant about getting the degree and getting licensed and, and then giving back to, to the community um, as far as, you know, paying it forward. So, um, you know, but my mom as well, because being a working mom is not easy. And so my mom gave me that that foundation of how to be, you know, how, how to put your family and have her career and, you know, the whole way she just, you know, you can, you can have both and it's okay, you don't have to choose. Um, and, and just kind of gave me those lessons. So my parents first and foremost, um, and then I was very lucky to meet a lady a few years ahead of me and, and, you know, in the engineering community here in Georgia, who took me kind of under her wing. She owned her own engineering company and um, introduced me, you know, kind of helped me network, gave me some pointers. Um, 
and and Marsha Bomar, and you know we still stay in touch. I I still consider her one of my my mentors, and and definitely still turn to her, um, you know, for advice or direction. And um, so I, I'd say they're kind of my you know main mentors. Great. What advice do you have for students or fellow alumni? Um, well, for students, I, you know, and I'm very passionate about this, especially students um, in engineering, and I know this is, you know, all careers in the alumni network, but um, engineering in particular, uh, get your license. Even if you're not sure you're staying in engineering or you don't think you need it at the time, um, you know, it just gets harder as you get older to try to study and pass a test. Um, so from an engineering perspective, definitely get your license. To me, it's kind of like, you know, not finishing law school if you are an attorney or, you know, dental school. That is just kind of the pinnacle of it. Um, but alumni and, and students in general, it's just, you know, UK is such a great network. I mean, I'm not in Kentucky and the, the alumni network here is amazing. Um, so participate, get to know the people at school because, you know, you, you never know. I mean, I, there's been several instances I've gone into a meeting and, you know, one of my clients now, um, we started the conversation because he had a Kentucky diploma on his wall, you know, here in Georgia. Um, so get involved while you're there. And then if you're, you know, an alum, find your network, find your alum wherever you are and, you know, use that because it is, it's a, it's an amazing community. We have a list on our website of clubs around the country, and you're exactly right. Great networking, wonderful friendships can come from the clubs. Yes, absolutely. Lastly, Randy, share with us a favorite memory from your UK days. <laughs> um, okay, there's a few. Um, I had a little trouble narrowing it down. Um, you know, oddly, one of my favorite memories is um, studying, you know, in, uh, in the engineering building. I mean, at the time, it definitely was not my favorite. Um, but looking back, those were some of the, the best times, you know, in school was, you know, a bunch of us, you know, cramming for a big exam and, and it kind of turns into a midnight session of equations and everything. And, you know, and we still laugh about that, you know, we all still stay connected. And um, so just that, that camaraderie with trying to get through some of those classes. Um, and, you know, another one is just, uh, just seeing the campus. I mean, I, I just think about, you know, spring on, on campus and, you know, everybody was just kind of out sitting in the lawn and walking around and, um, you know, now taking my kids there to tour the school now that they're at the age looking at colleges, you know, I'm like, no, we have to wait till spring. Spring is when the campus to me just really kind of comes alive. Um, so, you know, just kind of hanging out on campus, waiting for classes, you know, studying, reading a book. Um, those are kind of some of my favorites. We do have a beautiful campus, especially in the spring and the fall. Mm -hmm. Randy, thank you so much for sharing more about your career journey with our UK students and alumni. We wish you all the best. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Good luck to everyone.